Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from Beak Inn. Lewis in Sussex. It's a kind of their real uh, Talus Hopped IPA, 7% ABV. I'll give you the little spiel on the side because I think it's an interesting little read. It says, have you tried Talus? Yes. Uh, we love this hop and I've paired it here with another of our favourites of varieties, Mosaic. So it's not just Talus, it's Mosaic as well. I guess it's a more of a showcase of Talus. Um, we're getting aromas of ripe blueberries, palmer violets, fresh lavender. How about you? Let's find out. There you go, got a little fisherman on it. Real and all that business. So let's just pour it into a glass and see what we've got. Weird inflection on the gut. <laughs> and the glass, I mean, it looks like kind of like Orange bar, orange barley sugar, <laughs> like a Robinson's orange barley drink. Um, so hazy, orange, darker in the middle, paler at the edges. Dishwash, kind of like a dishwasher top of white. I mean, like you know, I mean, like like you've been um doing the dishes for a while and the suds have gone. It's got a film on the top. So yes, so swill and sniff. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, come on now. Come on now. Mm mm mm. I love Sabro. I love Talus. I mean, supposedly sister of Sabro. Mmm. I'm not. I'm gonna say I don't get any of that. What do they say? Blueberry, nah. Palm violet, nah. Lavender, maybe. I personally get kefir lime. I actually get lime and li lime and lemon definitely. Maybe preserved lemons. You often use for kind of kind of. Moroccan cooking, so they're not as sharp as zippy. Grapefruit, melon, under ripened mango and pineapple. I had some slightly under ripened mango the other day, <coughs> and it does have a, it's a sharp, it has a little bite to it. It's got a bit of San Pellegrino, yeah, or a lemon, a lemonata on it. I'm I'm saying it's got a sharp and a citric note. Maybe a hint of bubblegum actually thinking about now. Those pouches you put have you ever burst one of those pouches of um uh washing um washing liquid what you put in your put in your drum with your washing machine. That's what I use anyway. It's got a bit of that. I guess it is floral in that sense. So it's like lavender and palm of violets. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. Maybe I I'm not a big fan of lavender. And I'm sure and damn not a fan of Palmer Violets. But anyway, it smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mango. There is a berry thing. Grapefruit at the back end. I'm trying to stop myself saying blueberry, but I don't think it is blueberry. A bit of elderflower. It's bubblegum. Definitely that bubblegum thing. Grapefruit, big grapefruit now. Ooh. Bitter orange, grapefruit, bubblegum, pineapple, mango. It's, it's got everything. Yeah, it has a fragrant quality though. I guess I know where they're getting that kind of palmer violet lavender thing. Ooh. But I'm not going to specifically say that, but I think this is an absolute corker. I'm a big, I'm a fan of Beak, and this is, and I'm a big fan of Talos as well, so that is an absolute stormer. So that is real from Beak. 7% ABV Talos Hopped IPA from Lewis in Sussex. I will be there one day at their tap room, surrounded by those white cliffs. It looks an amazing spot. But yeah, great stuff. I'm Rob from Hopzine. See you next time. Cheers.